Emotions matter in engineering management. You have to understand how to manage them. And in this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Andres F. Peralta, civil engineer and product manager at Tensar. And Andres, you're going to tell us a little bit about emotions and leadership. What is that leadership lesson that you learned that can be valuable to our subscribers? So I think, um, you know, one of the uh, leadership lessons that I think have helped me a lot throughout my career is emotional intelligence. Uh, I feel like if you know how to, um, you know, control, um, you know, the emotions you receive from interacting with other uh, people in, in, in the company and you know how to, um, I guess, um, uh, channelize them in certain ways so you can actually solve a problem and not just create a problem that that's that's very useful. Right. So, um, you know, knowing how to, how to talk to people, you know, I think that's part also of uh, emotional intelligence in our uh, um, you know industry. We I think we bump heads uh, uh, a little bit, <laughs> which is you know normal among engineers. So uh, if you know how to uh, you know um, channelize those emotions that you get from from those confrontations and you take them and you convert them into something positive, uh, that's going to help you a lot um, to move up in your career. Thank you, Andres. Emotional intelligence is so important in the world of leadership, whether you're in engineering or not. The ability to relate with people, interact with people, it will determine whether or not you'll be successful, your projects will be successful, and your company will be successful. So let me just quickly run through a couple things that you can do to develop your emotional intelligence, right? It's easy to say that we need to be better at it, but it's not something that that's that straightforward. So first of all, you really have to kind of be aware and manage your negative emotions, right? If you can kind of manage those and understand how to alleviate those, that can help you to be more emotionally intelligent for sure. You wanna be mindful of your vocabulary. Sometimes simply using the word we, instead of saying you and me, can really help to forge kind of a bond between team members and can be very beneficial in terms of becoming more emotionally intelligent. And that's something that, again, you wanna build that bond and that trust with the people that you manage. You should also practice empathy, right? Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes, right? If the person that you're managing is really struggling to hit a deadline on your project, you have to realize that they may be dealing with five deadlines, four other projects from four other managers, and you can have that conversation with them. And again, be more sensitive to that. You wanna know your own stressors, because if you know what's stressing you out and you can kind of adjust, alleviate, or be prepared for that better, it will help you to be more emotionally intelligent. You also wanna have that ability to bounce back from adversity. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, we're all gonna go through adversity in our careers and in our lives, regardless of our situations, and your ability to bounce back from them can mean everything, especially in the world of engineering, where we work on very complex projects that will have a lot of adversity. So those are some things that you could do to develop your emotional intelligence, which will help you to be a better leader. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Here at EMI, we put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. Please consider subscribing to our channel here so you can get these tips weekly and you can become the best leader that you can be. I'll see you next week.